Hey guys, it's Dolora Dabbles here, and I am coming at you with another tarot video. As you can tell by the way that I'm talking, it is late at night. Uh, Brad actually has a surgery tomorrow, so keep him in your thoughts. My poor little cat has bladder stones. So nothing too crazy or life-threatening, but definitely I'm nervous, so I'm up late. Hopefully this helps with the insomnia. But I have been trying to figure out ways to categorize my decks as a way to put them on here for reviewing. Because I, I don't spend 15 minutes reviewing one deck. I don't find that necessary. I really like the idea of categorizing a group of decks and looking at them together, right? So... Uh, today we're going to be looking at Rider Waite Smith clones. And then the next video, which I'm probably also going to film tonight, is going to be Rider Waite Smith based. We're going to talk about those differences, what I mean by that. And I mean visually only. Because sure, there are some people that might consider the ones that I show as Rider, Rider Waite Smith based to also be Rider Waite Smith clone. These are just my definitions, and as usual, words are whatever you want them to be. Right? That's the beauty of language. So, I'm going to show you decks that I believe are Rider Waite Smith clones and why I think they're clones. And again, my version of a Rider Waite Smith clone is that the characters are doing almost exactly the same thing, maybe not with the same stuff or with the same look. But thematically, the art is the same, right? Uh, first and foremost, we have the Azathoth Tarot. Because this is such a good example of a Rider Waite Smith clone because that's the Two of Coins. Yes, it's in this weird Lovecraftian universe. And I did add red highlights to my cards for funsies. Um, I couldn't help it. So, but yeah, there's the four of wands. You get the idea. You could go through the entire deck and all of these cards are super recognizable and super iconic, right? I really do love this deck. This was my, um, uh, my deck that, okay, let me show you one of these miners again. It has the Thoth one word, the one word Thoth meaning up here, but then it has the Rider Waite Smith picture. And I love that about this deck. Um, it's kind of a very interesting combo deck where the art is Rider Waite Smith and then you have the one word meaning from the Thoth. You also have the elementals on the court cards down here at the bottom. Your majors also have Here's a majors card right here. Your majors also have the Hebrew letter and then the astrological correspondences, right? So anyway, that was a really cool combination deck, but artwork wise, it is a Rider Waite Smith clone because we're looking really at the artwork. Uh, and of course, you guys know I love Nemo's Locker. I did a really cool review of that deck in depth along with the book that he did for that. So you guys can uh, go back and find that. Next, I have a pocket deck. It's the Tarot of Pagan Cats. And I love cats. As you guys know, I love my cats. So, yeah, that's the Six of Wands. Yes, it's cats that are performing these things, but the Six of Wands, so it's not a guy on a horse. Right with a with a laurel crown and being praised, it is a cat with a laurel crown, and he has the prize, and he's getting off with his prize, you know. So, um, the four of swords. It might not be a person on a bed, but it is a cat on a carpet. So I consider that to be a clone. Um, this is honestly one of my favorite decks to do uh, readings for my cats with. I will literally, like, if um, my cats are just napping, I will 
I will uh, put this under them or on them or around them or under their paw and leave it there before I do readings for my cats. I love it. Super cute. Um, but yes, definitely a clone. Uh, next, we have the Murder of Crow's Tarot, which I have done, which I did a big um, unboxing video of. And I think I did a follow-up on it because it did come with some really cool extra significator cards. But anywho, the magician is the magician. Really what I'm looking for here whenever I say that these are miners cards is that, um, I mean, what I mean by saying that something is Rider Waite Smith cloned, I'm really looking at the miners because I don't mind whenever artists do something crazy and different with the majors. To me, the miners is what really tells you the difference between Thoth, Marseille, Rider Waite Smith clone or Rider Waite Smith based, and then something entirely different, right? That's the Five of Wands. It's happening with crows but it's still thematically the same thing. And she might not be in a garden in the normal sense of the word, but she is in a garden of some kind. Very macabre garden. The Eight of Swords, we still have a woman who is bound. Um... In the Five of Swords, we still have a defeat and a defeated person. And even though this person is wearing a mask, you definitely get the feeling from that. And the way he's looking at the crows, you definitely know like the crows, the crows done did something. They done did something. All right, looking for more miners cards. Getting a lot of majors and courts right here. The Three of Swords. So instead of the Three of Swords going through a heart, they're going through a crow, because this is the crow deck, you know, the murder of crow's deck. Um, the Two of Swords, she's still blindfolded. Instead of holding two swords, she's holding two ravens, but still very much a clone. And these are the Four of Wands. This one, you could argue, is Rider Waite Smith based. But I'm going to say it's right away Smith clone because the artwork is so gosh darn similar. So similar. And of course, I love this deck. This is one of my favorite decks. I love the art style. It's very biting. If I am a little raw about something, I won't use this deck. If I am ready to know... If I'm ready to have something said to me very bluntly and very forward, then I use the Murder of Crow's Tarot, if that makes sense. All right, moving on. Sorry, one of my parental units had to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Anyway, I'm shy, so I paused. Anyway, the next deck that we're going to talk about is the Tarot your Hualia Cop. So this is the quote unquote Aztec tarot. Um, <clears throat> very, very much a uh, Rider Waite Smith clone. However, I like that. And we're looking at the art here, right? That's all we're looking at in saying whether or not it's a Rider Waite Smith clone or a Rider Waite Smith base, right? The artwork on the surface is Rider Waite Smith clone, right? This is the, uh, yeah, this is the Ten of Swords as we would know it in the tarot, but it is the Ten of Flints here, right? This one is the Four of Flints or Swords, right? But because of the, the fact that the people in these cards are wearing certain things, they're wearing certain uh, regalia that tells them either what, um, 
what significant being that they are portraying, right? You can tell by the regalia. And then on a lot of the majors, you actually do have the powerful beings, right? So that is Lady Filth Eater. And instead of it being the devil, right? Because this is not a Eurocentric Christian deck. This is a indigenous Aztec deck, right? The devil is the Lady Filth Eater. Anyway, but again, on the surface, we have the Ten of Wands here. It is very Rider Waite Smith clone, but what I love is that it is that Rider Waite Smith clone, but with the with the twist, right? So it looks familiar to us while being wholly otherworldly, right? Yeah, super fun. It's also a very very fun way to learn about the Aztec culture. I have certainly enjoyed. Uh, the artist's extensive book, written in both Spanish and English. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful deck. I definitely, like, I'm more careful with what I read with this deck, simply out of respect. I try not to read any, like, gossipy type stuff. I tend to use this deck for things that matter in the long term just because I don't know I have a reverence for other cultures so I will say that about this deck um, last but not least on the Rider weight clones section we have the King of the Hill tarot yes um, I am actually going to be um, how do you say it customizing this deck like I'm gonna alter this deck I'm gonna chop off chop off the borders I'm gonna edge it in purple I just haven't done that yet uh, I think that making it borderless is gonna be much cooler but that aside it is definitely a right oh I rider weight clone god I swear y'all say a rider weight clone or just rider weight say rider weight 10 times fast yeah, we're just going to call it the, uh, the Coleman, Coleman Smith weight, Smith weight, Smith weight. Yes, something like that. Anyway. Yes. Undeniably, this is a Rider weight clone. And it is definitely one of my uh, favorite um, clone, 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 clones, right? Like, looks exactly like this clone, right? Um, as you guys can see, I don't have a lot of Rider Waite Smith clones. And I've told you guys before that, like, ah... Uh, yeah, I would get this deck, but it's another Rider Waite Smith clone. I know I've said that like it's a bad thing over and over again. It's not a bad thing for a deck to be a Rider Waite Smith clone. However, it has to be a Rider Waite Smith clone with a twist, right? Because that's what gets somebody to buy it. I got this deck because it was it was from Nemo's Locker. I love this artist. I love um the uh, the mythos, the Cthulhu mythos. We don't love H.P. Lovecraft as a person. I love the mythos. I love what people have done with the mythos since his passing. I love just the, the feeling that you get with his work. And this artist captured that in his deck, right? I got this one because it was Rider Waite Smith. But counts. But counts. Um, I got this one because it was Rider Waite Smith, but dark, right? I got this one because Rider Waite Smith, but Aztec, right? So all of my clone clones here before me, right? They're all Rider Waite Smith clones, but with a twist, right? So I don't like the Rider Waite Smith clones that are literally just the same exact thing here, but modernized, right? 
if something happens to this deck, I would probably get one of those instead of replacing this exact one because I would like to see the diversity and the representation that was not there when this was made 100 years ago, right? But as long as I still have this one, unless I give this one away, I won't be getting something that looks exactly, exactly like this. There's one that's got women and there's one that's just uh, diverse people and then there's, there's a ton of ones just like this. So, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my little tidbits about each of these decks as we went through in the category. Because if you've read one Rider Waite Smith, Smith deck, you've read them all, right? The art style can uh, flavor the reading, right? But at the end of the day, spaghetti is spaghetti, right? Whether you put, you know, pork in your meatballs or whether it is uh, a, a vegan spaghetti a spaghetti is a spaghetti all of these decks are spaghetti now the next uh, the next video we're going to do next is going to just be pasta in general right so that's how it's a little analogy we can use for that <laughs> okay um, until next time which would be like right now uh, happy dabbling and bye bye